Maybe you know the website Outspedia.com and maybe you know that there are a lot of tipster competitions each month where you can win a lot of prize money for your uh, betting picks. And now there is one problem with the thing that um, a lot of people discovered and use it to win these competitions. And I tell you how they do it. The competition is on since uh, December last year and each month the first one can win 350 euro and the first winner was Dejan from Bulgaria and if we continue in January and February we see that Dejan also won in February and also in April so he made each month uh, 350 euro which is not bad for just um, putting all his tips there but you see he had almost 10,000 picks for one month so it's a lot of work he put into that but it paid off kind of if 350 euro are a nice amount and he also managed to be third here in this month uh, recently in June which uh, brought him 125 euro but um, not only Dejan, also Andrew Deda and Soon from Portugal are um, applying, applying the same strategy to achieve these results, which are unreachable for regular betters and uh, real money. So I will explain how they do it. If we have a closer look at Soon, the winner um, of the recent two months, you might uh, see that he has maybe the best strategy in football history, uh, achieving a yield of 20% two consecutive months in a row, which is awesome, which is not impossible, but the way he did it, is, it has nothing to do with knowledge or a good strategy. His strategy is just based on errors and uh, errors you find in the odds of Ozpedia. And that's why you can't copy his picks and make profit. Let's have a closer look at his picks. As we can see, his uh, recent pick was under 3.5 in this game. And as we can see, he got odds of 2.0 for that. And if we hit the odds comparison uh, for total goals, we see um, we also can get these uh, odds here. And what is special about it is that these odds are just wrong. You don't get them if you get to the real um, sports betting website because it's just an error in the transmission to Ozpedia. As you can see, all other sports book have way lower odds for that. Um, but only golden bet odds are way higher so that's why you get a payoff of 105 percent and you get a sure bet if you would bet on both of these outcomes but in uh, reality you can't as i told you the odds on gold bet in reality are not 2.0 they are almost the same like here so they um yeah it's just uh, that Soon has a program to scan all odds on Ozpedia and find out these errors and just bet on them. And in the long run, he always gets way better odds than you would get in, uh, in the reality. And that's why he is able to make profit in this tipping game, because he's doing this in every uh, single bet he has. And that uh, are a lot. So have a look at Ottawa. He get odds of 2.03. In reality, we also can get his, uh, these odds again, but also we have a higher payout here. So uh, the odds you can get at Pinnacle in real time and in real life are way below these 2.0. And the difference uh, for him at the bookie where Ozpedia shows this, uh, this odd error is uh, just the reason why he get way more money if he wins bets in this game but not in reality.
Next pick, Asian Handicap 1.75 on a game in Latvia or Lithuania. And we also can see a way higher payout here and a sure bet where he bets on these 187 odds. And um, yeah, so we could just follow his bets and uh, be also one of the best uh, in the world, which um, I think the other tipsters or, uh, also do it with uh, almost the same amount of tips and the same amount of profit and yield. They all um, follow the same strategy and they just have to copy the picks of the best three tipsters and you also might end up here in the top 10 and make some money. But to be honest, um, it's not worth it uh, because you only win 10 euro and you have a lot of effort to do that. And uh, that's why I don't follow this uh, strategy because this is no strategy. I would say all of them should be banned because uh, they are not the best p uh, tipsters. They are just the ones who uh, profit from errors and that's uh, not a practical strategy in the reality as you can't make these profits and these bets in uh, in the real world and that's why uh, it's kind of useless to take uh, yeah place in a competition like that where you know that the uh, the winners are all cheating and it's impossible to uh, win something. But there are also short-term competitions like for the Euro 24 where it's not possible to just win because of the um, of the odd errors. As you can see the big three with uh, the most picks are missing here and I would say in this competition the more experienced and real good betters are on the first spots and it's worth to have a closer look at them uh, what they are picking in this tournament and in their uh, other picks indeed the first one here jose has only made uh, these 85 picks and only won 16 out of it but it's good enough to make some profit how did he achieve that in um, this time because he always um, bets on next goal or correct score but we all know that 80 tips are not worth to consider because uh, that can be a run and just uh, be good luck or bad luck the second one Joel Villano from Cuba is more interesting because he has level 61. That means he had a lot of picks before the tournament. And so we can have a look at his picks, what he achieved so far. And he made a lot of profit with uh, 1,100 in profit. And he made 10,000 picks with a yield of 1%. So that is not even close to the 20% of the big three. But um, this might be more realistic and uh, at the end you shouldn't care about uh, the, the biggest yield because the biggest yield is m mostly uh, kind of fake. But if someone achieves a, a positive yield after 10,000 picks, you can maybe trust him more and um, you can have a closer look at his picks, uh, what strategy he is following and maybe you find some golden nuggets here. The other one also only has level 7, we can ignore him, but maybe Benjamino from Kenya is interesting as he has level 21 and you can see he had about 1000 tips so far, but the trend is not his friend, um, but he started to get up in June um, but uh, in the long run you see there's a declining and maybe this short-term winnings are just also based on luck so I won't uh, follow this tipster.
because you have always to keep in mind that someone who's profitable um, over just uh, less than thousand tips is uh, not uh, guaranteed that he's a good pick, uh, tipster or he will be in profit after thousand tips or even more. What about the Polish Pasquil and also only has 680 tips so mm, not very special so far. Same with Pit Bira, only level 16, level 15, level 14. Way too much information to consider betting on their picks because um, yeah, they have no long-term record here. They started in June and were not profitable and then were profitable. So uh, just based on two months uh, and uh, not even great results in the long run. Same with Joss and the same with Truel Tough and uh, yeah, you see nothing special here. Two more interesting guys on spot 11 with level 45 leader 75 from Venezuela and he has also a long term record but this is negative. So after 5,000 picks, he lost more than 1,000 units. And uh, that's why in the long run, it's maybe not the best thing to trust in him. Let's have a look at Manu95. He has profit in the short run, but in the long run, um, yeah, he's also doing quite well. 4,000 4, picks and a profit of 3,387. Uh, Not the greatest yield for sure, but at least uh, you are in profit following his picks. His peak was in May. Um, since then he, he lost um, around 500 units. Uh, so I don't know what he did because this was the end of the regular season and he was betting maybe here on I oh, know why is this May I don't get it anyway something happened here and I don't know why um, he's declining but um, yeah for sure more um, honest better than the other ones and then look who's there on spot 15 with level 56. This guy called Radek Vegas has also here a great uh, European tipster contest with um, at the moment winning 20 euro with his picks and being on spot 15 out of 1200 people competing here. And I only won nine picks because my strategy is uh, very simple only betting on results 1-1 one, one, correct score and um, yeah I made a good profit with the result picks here and I don't have to win a lot but uh, my yield uh, is uh, yeah better than all the people here who are in front of me beside Jose um, but anyway Let's have a look at my long-term record and you can see I'm profitable with 8,000 picks uh, in the long run, but my yield is also not very good with only plus 0.6. And uh, so you might think, yeah, you shouldn't follow my picks as well. And I would say, yes, you're right, because I have here a lot of picks I won't put my, my real money on. I'm testing strategies here. As you can see, there are a lot of ups and downs. But still, if you are profitable in the long run, and as you also can see, I was profit, uh, profitable each and every month since uh, January which you also can see in the monthly tips, the competitions, 
here January and scroll here I was 14th with a profit of 270. I made also a lot of picks but not based on errors, uh, based on my strategy. So uh, each month where you can end up in a profit, even if it's just one cent, um, you're doing better than most of the people in the world and that's uh, that should be the, the goal. Not uh, being the best as it's impossible but if you achieve making profit each and every month you're doing good. In February you see I made a, a loss of 120 units. It was the half of uh, the profit I won the month before so it happens, you can't be profitable every month, but in most of them, in March, I made a profit of 215 out of 1000 picks. And you can see that my yield is uh, always between 1 and 2%, which is not awesome, but uh, as you, uh, yeah, if you add it up 1% each month, you end up with 12% of your money at the end of your uh, of the year, which is mostly better than you get if you just uh, invest in stocks. And it's better than most of the results each and every one could achieve by his own. And also here in April, I think this was my best month so far with 360 units in profit and a better yield with less tips. And also in May I was profitable but not very much and I had a few tips in May because I was moving to my new house and I didn't find the time to bet a lot. In June also um, I made a profit and now in Ju uh, July I'm also profitable. So you can see I'm profitable in six out of seven months and I yeah encourage you to track your own picks here and compete against me and against others to see how good you are. And then there are also a lot of experts on the YouTube channel on Oddspedia and they don't track their picks and they don't have any record here in the stats. And so yeah, why don't they have uh, here a, a profile with a long-term record as uh, I have and you also can see that uh, in some sports I'm better than in others here this is ice hockey in football indeed um, I had some bad streaks in February where I lost a lot of money and um, yeah sometimes it takes time to recover but um, in other sports I'm better. I also have a, a huge loss in basketball which um, yeah is bad for my altogether yield but I show you that that um, I have such a bad basketball record because I personally um, don't bet on basketball anymore. I didn't um, with these bets also it's just yeah, in um, uh, developing a strategy and so you can see if I didn't put money on basketball my all together yield would be way better and I would have end up with thousands in profit. But anyway, uh, you always, uh, you don't know in which sports you might be good and might be worse. That's why th this is great to test different strategies. And I also can say that I never put money on baseball as I know that my yield in baseball and my record is very bad. And that's why um, I don't do it. On the other hand, I discovered that I am kind of good in handball. And that's why I started uh, after I saw 200 tips with profit in handball that it's time to put real money on it or on floorball maybe it uh, takes more tips to decide if I'm good or if I'm bad and on the other sports as well and yeah I'm interested what you think about it um, let me know your profile here and um, yeah what you 
um, achieve as a tipster? 